And welcome back. I'm here with Andy Brown with Washita Green. She's here to tell us about an event this weekend that could help you with your spring cleaning. And I always love this event. It's the Household Hazardous Waste Collection Day. It is a great time to clean out your house and very easy to do. Yes. Because uh, you are, let's start with what you're accepting at the event. So this is our Household Hazardous Waste event. So mm -hmm. we're taking the paints, the pool chemicals, old oil, that kind of stuff that's just laying around your house or your garage or your shop, mm -hmm. all of those items that have just been sitting, some of them are expired, some of them are dried up, that kind of thing. You can bring all of those out. Um, we'll, we'll have it set up by section, so when you load your items, if you'll load them into the car by what they are, like your household hazardous waste, your general recyclables, and so on and so forth. Um, we'll also be taking um, scrap metal. Mm -hmm. Furniture is a new one at this event. So we don't typically take furniture at the spring event, but it can be furniture that needs to be tossed or it can be furniture that's just good use that you are going to donate. We'll have folks there that can take it for donation, but we'll also have a way to dispose of it as well because it's really important. We're getting into the springtime, a lot of rain. We want to keep those couches out of ditches. Mm -hmm. So bring them out. Let us throw them away for you. Um, that, that gives folks an opportunity to do that and it's free. So, Are you still accepting the big things like the old TVs, the computer monitors, and then also medication? You know, we have so much stuff in our cabinets and uh, it's not good to throw them down the toilet. Right, right. So we will have a crew there from ULM Pharmacy and VCOM medical students that will be there to sort through those prescription jugs and we'll dispose of those properly. We're also taking old electronics, so your TVs, your DVD players, um, you know, old cell phones, that kind of thing. We take those, they go to a recycler, they're properly disposed of, so you don't have to worry about any information that's on them or anything like that. And also old appliances, your, you know, that deep freeze that doesn't work anymore mm -hmm. or those type things as well. And where's the event taking place? So it's at the Ike Hamilton Expo Center, mm -hmm. and we're going to be in the northwest parking lot. You won't be able to miss us. There'll be lots of signage. Just follow the Washtenaw Green signs that have arrows on them, and it'll take you right around the route to come through. And you don't even have to get out of your car. You just pull up to the station. Everything will be labeled with signs. The volunteers will unload the materials for you and make sure that they get sorted and disposed of properly. What are you not accepting? Some things we're not accepting, explosives, ammunition, um, mm -hmm. anything that's radioactive, anything like that. Something that would be harmful, we're not accepting those items, but your chemicals and things like that we will take. And uh, what is your website address where somebody can go on and look at the items that you're accepting and not accepting? So washtalgreen.org, you can find mm -hmm. a full list of what we are and are not accepting, and you can also find that list on our Facebook page at Washtaw Green. So basically, if you can get somebody to load your car or if you can load it, um, all you have to do is drive there and you guys unload it and it's an easy way to clean out everything. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. It was great to have you. Thank you.